I've got a few questions for you regarding your upbringing and your, your father, okay. and you've happily agreed to come on camera and tell your story that it might help some other Amerasians as well. Yeah. My name is Mari Shelian de Casal. I am 58 years old, and I lived in Alongapo City. My birthday is on September 9, 1965, and my father is Jerry Rosendahl. Your father was a ex-US military veteran, mm -hmm. and he met your mum in what year, do you know? Um, I think it's December 1964. What happened? Did you lose contact with your father? You grew up without your father, is that right? Yeah, I grew up without my father. And I just knew it um, last year, maybe June or July 2022. And we spoke for one month through Messenger. Uh, he's using uh, his wife's Messenger. Mm -hmm. That's why we have a contact. But after a month, all of a sudden, it's all cut. What did your mom tell you about your father? Actually, I didn't even grow uh, with my um, true mother, with my bio biological mother, uh, because um, he, uh, uh, she, she gave me to another couple. That it's that is um, Mr. and Mrs. Conrado Yendo. Can and I ask? Sorry to interrupt. Can I ask what was the reason why she gave you up for adoption? Because. Uh, she said uh, she didn't know how to give me good future. How old was she at the time? I think uh, she's only 20, 21 or 19 years old like that. Okay. And she's uh, working in a bar. Yes. So as you grew up with adoptive parents, when did you meet your real birth mother? Uh, when I was in second year high school. Mm, how did that come about? Uh, because I have a classmate and uh, I went to their house and uh, her mother her, mo her mother told me that oh you look like my friend Lu uh, Lucia. Really? Yeah. You're just like a twin. Uh, just stay there and I'm going to call her. And I didn't know that She's my true mother. What happened? Your mum came, did she? Yeah, she came. How old were you? I was in second year high school. What What age? I think uh, I'm 15. 15? Yeah. So up until then, your adopted parents hadn't told you? You knew nothing? I knew nothing. Because my, fa my adopted um, father always told me, no, you're my daughter. Don't believe them. But my neighbors always tell me, oh, uh, ampun, ampun, that is, oh, uh, that's what they call me. What's ampun mean? Uh, I'm a, they tell me that I am an adoptive, ad adoptive daughter. Did you ever look at yourself in the mirror and think, why is my skin color more white? Why do I look a little bit Western? No, because uh, they are half Spanish, ah, half Spanish. That's okay. why, especially my uh, uncle, mm. she, uh, he really looks like an American. Okay, so you never had any inkling no. at the time. Were you shocked on the day? Did your mother come to the house on that day? Not in our house, but in... Uh, your friend's house? Yeah. Your your friend called your mother on that day that she the saw The mother you. of my friend called mm. my mother mm. to show her that I look like her. What happened? Can you tell but me? But my mother knew that it was really me. Yeah. Her daughter. What did you, the, your mother say to you? Did your mother say to you anyth anything on that day? Like, yeah. she admitted? Yeah, she admitted. Tell me about it. What happened? Uh, she told me that uh, I'm sorry that I give you to another couple uh, because uh, I don't know how to give you a good future. How did you feel? Were you in shock? Did you embrace her? Did you no. forgive her? No. Were you angry? Not really, but uh, I'm hurt. I'm not I'm not angry I'm hurt mm. but uh, I have no uh, other uh, what they call this um, uh, other things in mind because my adopted parents really love me right and they really give me the best right 
was your mother living in the, the same area as you at the time when your your friend's mother called we was your mother close by was she living yeah. in the same town yeah and every and every day i go to school from home to school and school to home she always see me passing by her uh, um house that's amazing but she didn't even talk to me but sometimes uh, she's going to go to my adopted parents' house and uh, she's going to ask some money. Mm. But I didn't know her that time. Did she have a hard upbringing, your mom? Was, was she poor? Maybe. Mm. I don't know because uh, one of my, um, one of my uh, uh, brother, uh, she, took, she, she, she took good care of my brother. And now my brother is already in the States. Right, so your mum did raise another child, yeah. your younger brother. Yeah. Okay. Why do you think that she couldn't take care of you at the time? Because my ma my father uh, didn't know about me. And... Paano bang anuhin to na ano? Because my father didn't send money. That's why she do not want to take good care of me. Maybe if my father knew that I exist and send her some money, maybe she didn't give me away for, adop for adoption. So from that time that you met your mom, did you begin to get to know her afterwards? Did you become close with your mom? No. Then? No. At what point did you find out from your mom when, how did you find out then that your father was a um, ex-military, U.S. military? Actually, she didn't told me that. She didn't told me anything. Only my adopted uh, mother told me that uh, your father is an American. Uh, and when I asked my real mother the name of my father, she even told me the name is... Uh, Ano? Uh, the one uh, who's playing in the NBA, uh, Grant, Grant, uh, Grant Hill. That is the name she gave me, Grant Hill. So I don't have any other information about my father. Mm -mm. So from when you were 15 and you met your mom up until just a couple of years ago, you never knew who your real father was no okay tell me what happened how what happened how did you find out about your real father uh, because my son is uh, the president of uh, the filipino americans in olongapo yes and mom angela simon had a project of a uh, 3d and a kit so my son um He gave me the chance to have a DNA kit. And uh, when the DNA kit, I didn't even have the willingness to find my father because I don't know any any, any information about him. Mm -hmm. But my my but my husband and my son said, "Come on, mommy, try it." Because that's DNA and they have a DNA bank in the US. Yes. So we so they can find your father. So I'll try I try it. Mm -hmm. After after a month. Yeah. I tried the DNA and send it back to Rao office. Mm -mm. And after um, I think uh, three weeks, I know uh, six weeks, Mom Angela texted me. Now we already found your father. He's alive. How did you feel at that moment? Oh my god. That is six o'clock in the morning. She called? No, she just texted me and I woke up and I... You read it? Yeah, I read, I read her message and uh, uh, we, we, we already find your father and your uh, siblings. Uh, he is still alive. Was it a 100% match with yeah. your father? So it yeah. was your father's DNA. Yeah. He had done a DNA yeah. test with Ancestry. Yeah, 
But he didn't tell it right away to my father. He yeah. contacted my sister first, Marty. Okay. So that Marty is the one who's going to tell it to dad because right. dad has a new wife. Right. Mm. And then after that, uh, somebody um, uh, sent me a message in uh, my, my messenger. And that is Patty, the wife of my father. Yes. And told me that uh, just give your father um, a few days, sabi niya, just to sink. Uh, just for it to sink yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, just to sink in. So I said yes. Oh. But after just a few hours, my dad called me. So he was the one that called yeah. you? Yeah. Will you how, how, tell, take, take oh me through it? Oh my God. I can't explain what I feel during that time. In the morning, 6 a.m., Mom Angela texted me. Yeah. And then, after that, my sister Marty called me. Yeah. And then, after that, I received a message from Patty, the wife of my father. Yes. And then, after a few hours, maybe two, three hours, my father called me. And in that first part of the yeah. day. Yeah. It's amazing how quickly it, it goes from knowing nothing mm -hmm. through to getting the DNA results back. Yeah. And then you're actually speaking to your father yeah, on the my phone. Heart is pounding. I am crying. What did he say to you? <laughs> he said that he didn't know about me, that he left a daughter here in the Philippines. That's why. He never knew that no. your mum was pregnant? No. Didn't do anything. But I am really thankful to Mama Angela that I have found my root. That's Ma'am Angela Simmons from fatherfounded.org yeah. who helped. Yeah. Send DNA kits. Imagine I am already 57 years old. After how so many years. <laughs> Did he accept you? Yeah. What were his words? Can you remember? You look like me because you're my first child. That's what he told me. Had he received a picture? <laughs> Did he look on Facebook or how did he see your picture? Um, because he called me, video call. Video call. Yeah, he right. video called me. Right. That's why. I, Sorry, I thought it was just. Yeah. Okay, so it was a video call. <laughs> you must have been shaking looking yeah. at your father. Yeah. And I'm so thankful, really, that uh, after 57 years of uh, thinking. Where's my father? Who is my father? Does my father knew that he left a daughter here in the Philippines? All, all my questions have been answered in just a uh, half day. Yeah, and that's the power of DNA. Yeah. Without that test, you would never have found him. Yeah. That's and true. after all of these years, through the help of Angela Simmons from fatherfounded.org, you were reconnected with your long lost father. Yeah, and I'm so happy during those days. I thought it would never end. Now you were telling me that since having spoken to your father, his health is a little bit up and down mm -hmm. and uh, you've only spoken to him that once. Or did you speak to him a couple of times? A couple of times. He's always calling me. Right. So He's he was always really accepting of yeah. you. Yeah. And, and even my son. Yes. We, we, we uh, talked to my dad and he said, uh, you know, when I was 19 years old and he even sent us a picture of him and he looked like Jaja. Your son? Yeah. Just like carbon copy. Yeah. Hmm. When was the last time you spoke to your father? I think uh, August. 
August of last year or this year? Yeah, last year. Uh, 2022? Yeah, 2022. Is there a reason why you haven't spoken to him for so long? Because uh, I cannot contact him on his wife's messenger. There's a... Did she close down her messenger? or Maybe. She... Do, maybe. You, do you think there's maybe an element of jealousy or perhaps... Do you know anything why she would have done no, that? No, no, no. But I am not asking her too much. Just I just want to have a. I just want to have. What do you call this? A connection with my dad. A father-daughter. Yeah. Relation. Yeah, I'm not even asking for anything. Has your father got uh, children? in the States? Have yeah. you got half brothers and sisters? Yeah, Have I you spoken three. with them? Yeah. Ma I, uh, Marty, uh, Jerry, and uh, Travis. And they all accept you? Yeah. And they're all happy to have spoken yeah. to you? Have you tried Marty to... Marty is the one who, I know, who, who first called me. Right. My sister. Right. But Jerry, we didn't talk in the phone, but uh, we're always chatting. Okay. You and mean, you're in contact with them. Yeah. Until now. We're friends in uh, Facebook and Messenger. Right. Until now. Have you asked them if there's a problem? Uh, my brother told me that uh, because of my father's PTSD. Right. Post-traumatic stress yeah. disorder. Yeah. But I said, um, how come that is the reason behind uh, dad not talking to me? Uh, if Because he's the one who's talking... Yeah. Who caused me? Yes. So it's not like you're chasing your father. Yeah. It was your father chasing you to speak yeah. to you after yeah. all of these years. Yeah. He didn't know that he had had a daughter. And I even sent um, send my brother uh, our um, pictures when uh, whenever we be call. Mm. I sent I sent him the pictures. Uh, look at look at the picture of uh, dad and me. Mm. Is that the sign of uh, a person who has P PTSD? Yes. But uh, in my heart, I know that maybe it's because uh, of um, Maybe his there's wife. some other factors his involved. Wife. I wanted to ask Ma'am Maricel if she's tempted to give your father another call at some stage. Are you going to try to call him? Actually, my youngest brother gave me the phone number of my father after I haven't uh, been able to contact him in the messenger. But uh, I'm thinking maybe when I call him, his wife will answer the phone. I love you. I always do. I don't want anything from you. I don't need your money. I just want to talk to you. You're grateful to him that when he found that he had a daughter, he was the first person he didn't wait, did he? He gave you a call straight away. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of fathers wouldn't... And no questions. A lot of fathers wouldn't have done that. They would have shied away from the responsibility. Yeah, I know. So he was the first person that reached out as soon as he heard about the DNA. Yeah. So that's something to be grateful for. Yeah. And I'm really happy about that. Because uh, he told me that I cannot uh, say you're not my daughter because we have a DNA match. That's what he told me. And you look like me. And then when he saw Jaja, oh, he looks he looks like me more. Mm. Mm. I'm just I, I'm happy whenever I talk to him because uh, you know. The book of my life have closed. You've had, you've got closure now. Yeah.
because I already found my dad. I know where I am from. <laughs>